Nearly seven months after his death, the Sergeant Nick Reisner Act was signed into law, ensuring no other family member will have to endure what his family is facing. Way 31 was there as the Reisner family, friends and lawmakers joined Governor Ivey for today's ceremonial signing. Our team coverage continues with Way anchor Marie Waxel. She's live in Montgomery. Marie. Well, this new, law, this new law allows Nick Reisner to continue to save lives, not just in North Alabama, but across the state. It really was a beautiful, bittersweet moment for the Reisner family inside the state capitol just a few hours ago here this afternoon. Now, take a look at this video. Despite the governor putting pen to paper one week ago, making it official, today was the day so many have waited for, a chance to see the governor leave her mark in person. Those closest to Nick know how special this law is to his family. Really bridging the gap between officers and the community they served is what motivated Nick to be the best officer he could be. And in death, he will continue to save lives and make a difference. I see so many people come out and support law enforcement to begin with. I mean, that was uh, Nick's real big thing was uh, humanizing the badge and the support that's came out since then. and. Uh, all the blue shirts, the blue light bulbs, everything. It's just, I, I catch myself looking at Whitney, at my wife all the time and say, it's, it's hard to believe this is all for Nick. You know, it's bittersweet, but he deserves every bit of it. It really does. Now, Nick Reisner will never be forgotten in the family, making it very clear all of your efforts from those of you at home who have really just poured their love into support uh, to the family. They have not gone unnoticed and they have really helped them heal tremendously, help to ease some of the pain, even though this fight is far from over. Way 31's Alex Torres Perez, of course, is here in Montgomery with me this afternoon. And Alex, walk us through what's next. The new law will go into effect this summer in July after Governor Kay Ivey signed the Sergeant Nick Reisner ads. It would essentially keep anyone convicted of killing someone with a deadly weapon from shortening their sentence through the Alabama Good Time Law. I reached out to the Alabama Department of Corrections to find out the process for making changes because of this new law, but I have not heard back at this time. Still, Representative Philip Pettis says there isn't too much to change. I mean, all they do is just, they just don't let them out. They keep them in prison, and, and they're still eligible for parole. If they get parole, you know, they'll get out, but it won't be as early as three years. Now, Pettis was referring to Nick Reisner's accused killer, Brian Martin. He was let out of prison after serving three years of his 10-year sentence through the Alabama Good Time Law. However, if this new law was in place back then, um, Brian Martin would still be serving time in jail and Nick Reisner would still be alive today. Marie. His family, friends, fellow officers continuing to fight to do what is right, to turn this tragedy into something positive, to continue his legacy. And it is something that Way 31 is proud to stand behind and join in the fight to continue to remember Nick Reisner. Reporting in Montgomery, Marie Waxel, Way 31 News.